Hey, what's this? I don't remember all of this. What could have possibly happened in the time that uh, you didn't know I spent? Well, I have actually been building. Nothing but building. For the past two days, I've been building. Uh, what happened in the, uh, technically, the episode I recorded before this is my recording software decided to just have a stroke and just die. And so, uh, I'm gonna do a little recap of what happened in the form of a, uh, small little, uh, snippets of what I could save from the footage. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play that for you right now. Oh, hello everybody. We are back with some more Terraria. It, uh, may not be super long for you guys, but it's been a, it's been a second for me. Um... We're back, uh, in the last episode, or, what the hell? Corrupt campfire. That's pretty cool. Desert torch. There's a lot of different types of torches. Whatever, anyways, as I was saying, uh, enchanted sword, we have it now. Water walking boots, we have it now. Walk on water and honey. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, it would be great if we had more max mana and max health. That should definitely be our next major goal once we have sufficient health and mana. We'd probably take on the Goblin Army. Uh, Eater of Worlds. Also a thing we could do. Unused gear, let's go ahead and throw those in there. Potions, we're getting a pretty decent amount of potions and stuff. Hmm. Alright. Sweet, we're here. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and, uh out what's down here, shall we? I don't actually know what to expect. that bad. What is that? Huh? Alright, this time let's uh, do that again with less suck. Oh, that's like a boulder. Charger, baby! Man, underground desert's even more hostile. What is this? What is this music? It's epic. What the freak? Dude, this is an absolute banger. Uh oh, that that was painful. Scarab bomb. not how I thought that would happen. Whoa! Well, that kind of spooked me. Why would you roll uphill? Whatever. 
This game don't care about your feelings, liberal. <laughs> oh, why is it going this way? I'm about to. Is that a chest? What is this? Dune Rider boots. Boom. Holy balls. These Dune Rider boots. Kinda nutty. Especially on sand. What is this? Desert minecart. I mean, I'll take it for sure. Oh my god. That's actually really scary. My town, boy. Ow. Don't roll this way. God damn it, mommy. Ooh. Okay, I might have to add the, the freaking underground desert theme to my playlist. It is an absolute bop and a half. What the hell is this? What? Uh... Well... Okie dokie! Well that's interesting! Well, we teleported back, I guess. Oh. I don't think hornets can do that. Shoot their stingers out. That doesn't seem like a trait they should have, ever. about your stupid rules! Ah! How about this? How about this? What if I just scare a beetle, the ever-living dick, out of this? That is extremely effective. Holy balls. Scarab beetles, not gonna lie. Why is there so many traps on that one chest? 
Why is there so many traps there? I don't know why explosives aren't explosive. That's cool to know, I guess. Yeah. An especially deadly chest, man. Oh, wait, I got rid of all my sand. Damn it. I'm trying to situate all this. Dead man's chest. Activates when opened. So, uh, yeah, pretty much all that cool stuff happened. We defeated some bosses, uh, and now I want to show you guys what I have been up to. I'm very, very excited. Okay, so, so first off, you can see right away, we have a new house, and we have a room for the nurse... Uh, because she doesn't like the cold, you know. This is perfectly adequate right now. We're, we're doing good. Uh, I have this amazing thing right here, the Guide to Critter Companionship. Uh, it prevents me from hurting innocent animals. Look at this. I'm swinging my sword and the bunny's fine. I will no longer slaughter innocent creatures. Look at me. I'm doing great. I'm doing, I'm doing fantastic. I'm doing great. I'm doing grand. Um, so you might ask. What took me so long, all this time? Well, you see, uh... I was doing a little bit of excavation. A little bit of renovation, if you will. And, uh... It doesn't really look like much, so I don't really have a whole lot to show for it. But, my god, did it take me so goddamn long to build this fucking tunnel. Oh my god. And I know, pylons exist, okay? I could eventually set up a teleportation network to teleport from place to place. I don't need that. But I was like, you know what? I want to do that. And you know what? By the time I decided, you know what? This was probably a mistake. I was already right here. And I'm like, I don't want to just destroy all of this and place all the blocks back. That'd look ugly. So I, I finished it, sort of. Um, it's not great. It's not great. We ha What the hell? Why is this door open? Anyways, we have a zoologist now. Lori the zoologist. <laughs> I have no idea how I got here, but it's mega rad. <laughs> Amazing. So, as you can see, uh, Lori has a bunch of stuff. This, uh, a squirrel hook. A leather whip, which is interesting. Summon tag damage. Huh. Cat license. Used to let a cat arrive in town. Koi kite. A kite, that's cool. And I have the fox ears on right now to uh, replace my golden crown. And I also have a uh, gamer gear. Check it out. Master gamer's jacket, master gamer's pants. I uh, got it from the traveling merchant uh, while they arrived one of the times... Uh, not really a whole lot of note happened other than me just, you know, experiencing immense psychological pain trying to build all of this. But uh, today's episode, sort of, it's sort of an episode. Yeah, it's an episode. Uh, to, in today's episode, I want to be able to defeat the Eater of Worlds. That is going to be our next goal. We are going to focus on actual game progression now. Now that I've built up a pretty decent, sizable amount of NPCs, 
I want to focus on actually doing things. So I'm going to take down... Oh, who are you? Die! Uh, I'm going I'm to take down the uh, Eater of Worlds. If we can't take down the Eater of Worlds, then we'll go hunting for loot in the underground desert and underground jungle. And if we can take down the Eater of Worlds, then we'll still look for loot in the underground desert and the underground jungle. Uh, that's not gonna help us. Iron skin, that'll help us. Regeneration, that'll help us. Let's use the better healing potions. That'll definitely help. Swiftness potion, I'm sure we'll need it. Featherfall potion. Uh, would probably be good to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now, honestly... I know it's not really a super great idea. You know, no, no, no. It's fine. It's, it's an amazing idea. I'm going to really quickly go to the snow biome and grab some snow, turn it to snowball so that we can have ammunition for our snowball cannon. Yeah, that'll be that'll be good. We could fight the uh, uh, opposed. Ink. I. My brain just stopped braining for a second. Okay. In the little clip I showed you, we were fighting those bosses during the night because we had to. Uh, we didn't have to fight King Slime during the night, but it was just, I don't know, convenient. Uh, most bosses you can only fight at night, as the daytime, generally, you either can't summon them, or they are enraged and are much harder. Uh, any hoozle. Uh... In my uh, quest to obtain the sh the absolutely mind-boggling amount of stone that I needed to collect to make this little minecart system, uh, of course I had to do a little bit of mining. Uh, and along uh, my travels, I did get a few life crystals, but we still aren't at max life yet. We are at max mana, though, so that's cool. Now, the only reason why we would need uh, Fallen Stars is just for little crafting recipes and such. Which is absolutely fantastic. What is this? Uh, yeah, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and throw uh, this accessory in the accessory chest I got here. I threw it away. It's not what I wanted. Alright. Now, then. Yeah. We should be ready. We should be ready. 300 snowballs is a pretty decent amount. Okay. You know what? It'd probably be good if I grab some bombs. I can't actually mine the uh, ebonstone blocks. I'm gonna need some explosives. Uh, consumables. Consumables. There we go. What the heck? Stop it. There we go. Uh, I'm also probably gonna want to grab... all of our lenses. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And, uh, instances of six. We're gonna fight the Eye of Cthulhu a few times. Uh, probably on our next night. I think this night's almost over. Yeah, it's about to be daytime. It'd just be a waste if I did it now. I'll go ahead and summon my slime pet real quick. Ah, uh, man. So, uh, apparently there's a bunch of different crate-type items you can get from fishing as well. Which, I already knew there were crates that you can get, but um, as far as I knew from 1.3, the crates weren't really all that great until hard mode. But uh, the crates should provide us with a pretty sizable amount of loot. This is pretty cool. Hey, this is really cool. Oh, and there's daytime. Ooh, and the moon glows disappear oh, as well during the, uh, during the day. It's pretty neat. 
wonder if any of that uh, cane is harvestable. I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh wow, it is. That's cool. I'll, I'll ask the guide what it does whenever I get back to uh, the base. Hey, isn't it crazy? I didn't. I haven't actually explored over here yet. Ah, but we can't get off track. That's a, a menacing guide. That's that's kind of crazy. All right, whatever. Ah, almost took damage there, but we're fine. Is there not a corruption to my left? What's going on here? Get a little bit of frame lag. Uh, oh yeah, I never did check to see if I was getting any lag in the recording or not. Oh, I'm so responsible. Whatever. I wouldn't call playing video games at midnight responsible, but uh... Uh, I'm trying, sort of. Not really. I'm not trying at all, am I? I'm not. <laughs> Oh, but imagine what I could accomplish if I was. Hmm. Uh, I'll never know. Alright. But there's more surface chests, man. Where were you guys? Where were all these surface chests whenever I first started? And that is very... Very square. Well, we have an enchanted sword, so I don't think we're gonna have a whole lot of trouble here. How did I just take wither? Die. Yeah, we shouldn't have a whole lot of trouble here. I mean... Yeah. They're all pretty easy. Can I actually mine this? No, I can't. Okay, well, bombs away! Is there even an underground corruption here? Nah, I probably should have confirmed that before I started wasting bombs. Uh, what about down here? Um... I feel like I would have seen it if it was just here. Uh, whatever. It's fine. Uh, die. Okay. You want some too? Come on, man. I got plenty for everybody. Plenty for everybody. Look at me. Alright, I'm a gamer. <laughs> uh, that was... That made me cringe. Alright. Oh! Uh, is this the underground? No! If you don't know what the underground corruption is, it's basically a little zone. I think I might have been in it in a previous episode, I'm not sure. It's a little zone where it's like a, a horizontal chasm. It's called a cave. It's called a cave. God damn it, Labby. Uh, yeah. There's like a, it's like a whole little uh, expansive cave system of very lateral crevices. I'm sure there was probably... And easier ways to describe that, but that's what I'm going with. Okay, that's weird looking. Is this one? Uh, yep, it's an underground one. Let's go. Now I have to find the shadow orbs, which it appears that there's one right there. Yep, okay, we're throwing the bombs. A horrible chill goes down your spine. Yeah. This does 31 damage. We don't really have a means of easily defeating this guy. Unless we get a vile thorn, that would be really cool. A sticky bomb. I don't want to damage the altars, because that would hurt me. 
Look at us. We're doing great. Oh, that's gonna damage the altar. Oh, nope. I think did they get rid of that? Did they get rid of the ability of it damaging you whenever you strike the demon altar with a bomb? Ah, there we go. It does 10 damage normally? Huh, I didn't know that. So used to uh, calamity and everything just being upscaled to a ridiculous degree. We could probably take down the Eater of Worlds. That was the worst placed bomb that I have ever done placed. Alright, we need an escape plan before we do anything else. Uh, th 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 th. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, are we just gonna fight the Eater of Worlds down here? Yep. Get heckled. Regen that mana. Oh yeah, I got a buff. Oh, yes! We're making progress now. Come on, man. Oh! there. One little wormy guy. There we go. Eater of Worlds defeated. That was pretty nice. Honestly, we could probably do that again. That wasn't all that bad. Nine minutes! Holy crap. Yeah, that was, that was great. Go ahead and throw a few more bombs down. Collect all the loot. Not a lot of loot, is it? Mm hmm. Yeah, we can probably do that again. No problem. No biggie. Another musket. That one uh, better because critical strike chance. Get rid of uh, all of that crap, though. Destroyed. Let's go ahead and uh, grab this uh, demon demonite. Yeah, demonite. I, I always call it demonite for some reason. Maybe it's because the first time I read it, I was like, well... So I'm like, ah, Demonetite! Yeah, I'm smart. Okay. Here we go, more bombs being dropped. Oh yeah, go, stay there, stay there, it's fine. Got a orb. Got a light pet now.
blow that up. Blow that up. I'll blow that up. Oh yeah. This is the most masculine way to mine. And Baba Boy. That's a problem. He doesn't even do any damage to me. He does one damage. Come on, man. This is pathetic. Oh my god. Filethorn is just messing this guy up. Not even having a chance to defend himself. That's just brutal. Holy crap. Absolutely brutalized. Let's go ahead and make these suspicious looking eyes and do the same thing for the eye of Cthulhu. Man. That is absolutely insane. Thoroughly demon demonished? Thoroughly demolished right there. That was uh, substantially easier than I thought it would be. easier. You know what? How about we also defeat the Queen Bee? Yeah. We'll take out the next boss. The Queen Bee. Whoa! We are so much faster. Okay. I'm not gonna activate the Angler because uh, nobody likes the Angler. What's down here, though? A bunch of weird fossil things. Okay. Nice. Nice. Do we have any available housing anywhere? I doubt it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. One, two, three, four, five. No, we don't have any available housing. That's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and uh, slap everything down where we can. Decoration. I don't know how much of this could be considered decoration. It's mostly just, just blocks. Uh, potions? Yeah, those can go in there. Potion related. That's probably potion related. Unused accessories. I do have a few of those. Unused gear, eater of worlds, a mask. We probably want We should probably go for all the. Uh... You know what? I would go for all the trophies, but there's not a lot of trophy type items in normal mode. Well, what the heck? flaming mace? Play the fire, light the way. It's kind of cool. Whatever. Uh. Yeah, where's the consumable chest? Where's my consumables? There we go. Sticky bombs, all that, going in there. Normal bombs, you're going to... I didn't even use a healing potion once. That's really crazy. Man, normal mode Eater of Worlds isn't nothing, man. I mean, it isn't anything. Isn't nothing would imply that it is something. Oh, you can make bamboo furniture. That's pretty cool. And it only takes bamboo to make. Oh, wait. Where's my Demonetite? Not Demonetite, it's Demonite. Jesus, that's gonna be a hard habit to break. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. 
How many of these bars can we make? Ooh, 120 bars. That is enough to make everything, I do believe. I already have the Light's Bane. It's inferior to what I have. Uh, first things first, Nightmare Pickaxe. The Breaker. Uh, hold on, that takes 15, 25, 20, okay. So, that's 40, 60, okay, yeah, I could make everything. War X of the Night. All the shadow armor. Hell yeah. The Fisher of Souls as well. Hmm. I don't think the malice the malice would be useful. Said bonus, increased movement speed. We have way more defense and stuff, though. And none of that is going to do me any good anymore. Let's throw the uh, Fisher of Souls in there. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ores and gems. Throw the Demonite back in there. What is this? Drum set? Drum stick? Huh. Okay, well I'm gonna- I'm gonna sell you this gold armor. I hope you'll like it. I don't know why it's that cheap. But whatever. Nice. We're collecting a fair bit of Fallen Stars. Let's go to the guide and see what we can actually do with them. Not gonna lie, I didn't expect to be able to take down the Eater of Worlds so easily. Oh yeah, we gotta take down the Eye of Cthulhu a few more times too, just to see what we get. Where's the moon at? Oh, we're good. We are absolutely fantastic. Guide. Uh, bamboo. Yeah, it's all just furniture. Okay, so it's not even really all that useful. Ooh. Make the void bag with some bones. Oh, that's pre hard mode? Huh. I didn't know that was pre hard mode, man. I really, really didn't. Huh. Well, that's pretty neat. Alright. That's pretty cool. I, I didn't know that. What didn't I know? I don't know. I, I already forgot. And uh, that would be a bit, but I'm, I'm dead serious. I don't know what my realization was a few seconds ago. I'm sure I'll figure it out again. Where... Or my, my eye of Cthulhu. There we go. All right. Come, eye of Cthulhu. Don't slap my NPCs, man. Thank you. That's a meteor, bro. Y'all see that? I know y'all saw that. Can we get a meteorite to land? Yo, it shit. That's cool! Come on up. I feel like this is faster, man. Oh yeah, that is way faster. The DPS on this is nutty. What the hell 
was awful, man. Do a little bit harder. Do a little bit harder? I mean, try a little bit harder. Where you at? Let's go! Oh no, you got me! Can I summon multiple? No. Huh. That does not do a whole lot of damage, does it? Oh dear. Wait, what about this? Nope, that doesn't do a whole lot either. Seems the, the snowball cannon right here is really the way to go. This absolutely shreds this guy. And now I'm out of ammo for it. too late now. Oh well. Got a bunch of worms though. We could probably do some fishing. Yeah, fishing. That is something we could do, isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of loot things that we can probably do. But you know what? I'm probably not going to do them. We did make a pretty fair amount of progress in this episode, though. Gotta say, got to say. How many worms do we get from this? I forget you can get enchanted night crawlers. That's kind of crazy, actually. Alright. Tell you what. I'll record myself fishing at a later date. That way, I'll st it'll still be off camera, sort of. If it's boring, then I just won't show you guys. But if I find something cool, then, you know, me recording is insurance for that. Uh, yep, day has come. And with it, I'm gonna make some demonite real quick, because apparently it's not really good for anything, so I'm honestly just gonna sell the shit. 32 gold! Oh my god! That is an impressive amount. Holy hell. Honestly, what if I just sell some of my stuff in here? It's not gonna need it. Diamonds? Who needs, who needs gems, man? Who needs gems? I'm gonna sell all my gems. Yeah, man, who needs gems? I, I probably will later, but... Whatever. If I need gems, I'll get gems. Look at me. Now I have a platinum. Which means I'll be able to buy... A certain pet from the traveling merchant, if they ever show up with a pet that I want, then I will most assuredly uh, 
buy it. Alright, so on that note, I think I'm probably going to go ahead and end off the episode here. I feel like we didn't really do a whole lot, but at the same time, we really did. Like, we we really, really did do quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'll do some fishing, see what happens. Uh, I doubt a whole lot will happen, but we never know. I'll record it just in case. But, uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Bye!